Good morning, Sofa Squad. It's me, Paul, with Reporting Live from my sofa. How's it going today? It is Tuesday morning, very early-ish morning, and we are going to be covering a bit of sad, tragic news that came out. And we're going to be following this case because this case... It sounds horrible, but it also rings back to when we just finished watching. And this is going to be the case of Michael Wayne Jones Jr. So also beware everybody out there. If you are out there talking to somebody, maybe interested in their last name, has something to do with Jones Jr., you go the other way, y'all. Because it, the similarities of this between this case and Tim Jones Jr., I'm just like, I, I didn't think anybody could top him. Well, certainly enough somebody has. And their last name is Jones Jr. So it, it, it's just crazy, y'all. So with, without further ado, let's review. Okay, so now the victims in this case were the wife and children of Michael Wayne Jones Jr. His wife's name was uh, Casey Jones, and she was 32 years old. Uh, her children, they ranged from ages 1 to 10. Now, they were last seen like six weeks ago around uh, in Ocala, Florida. And that's even freakier to, me, freakier to me because I used to live in Gainesville, which is like right there with Ocala. And so I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's always Florida. But when it's like a part of Florida that I know and used to live in, I'm just like like, oh my gosh. So, but what happened is last Saturday night, her family reported them missing. And basically what investigators think happened is that Jones then fled uh, on Sunday because of this missing persons report that went out. So he, so later, you know, he's on the road, he's going away, whatever. He crashes his car near Brantley County in like Southeast Georgia. It's like basically 150 miles ish away from where he was at. And so, you know, deputies come, whatever, and they smell like a super foul odor coming out of the van. And basically he's like, you know, you might want to put handcuffs on me. And, and essentially it's just like, you know, you got me. And the body of Casey was in the van. And so then eventually he leads them to the bodies of the other four children. And, and they were like near Charlton County. I don't have any information yet. Like number one about how, you know, what he did to them all or the state of the remains, things like that. Uh, but it sounds to me like he kind of, you know, stored their bodies and then carried them in the van and went. So it's very grotesque. And like I said, it's bizarre that this guy's last name is Jones Jr. And Tim Jones Jr. did the same thing. I mean, luckily, you know, his ex-wife Amber is still with us. Uh, but nonetheless, of transporting the bodies and carrying them around in the whole nine yards, it's just like, I mean, who comes up with this stuff? You know, what detectives think is that he killed them at their home in Florida, you know, sometime like in the last several weeks. And basically, he moved the bodies once the missing report went out. And then, you know, I mean, luckily, he got in a rag, so he was called. So now, Jones was arrested on charges of driving with a suspended and revoked license, weaving over roadway, being a fugitive of justice. And there's a warrant. Now, this could have changed by the time this comes out. But there's a warrant for a second-degree murder charge, uh, obviously, against his wife. They say that more charges are on the way. I'm not sure why they don't have... These are my questions about why is there just one second degree murder charge? You know, and I'm guessing it's because they maybe could say, okay, well, we have the information from him at the time of this for the wife. You know, we don't have, maybe he hasn't confessed anymore to what happened to the kids. So they can't 100% say, you know, whatever. I don't know. Uh, but also, why is it second degree? So I'm interested to see what I think is going to happen is they're going to up these charges once they get all the information. I have a feeling that this was the obvious first stuff to get them with. And again, at the time of this recording, by the time it's posted this could have changed so i apologize if this information about that part uh, is obsolete i'm hoping we will get more information today about this so we're going to follow this case here at the sofa squad and see what comes of it you know I, I feel horrible for obviously her and the children and her family all the people that's touched i mean it's just terrible so anyways that's it we're gonna be following this one i hope everybody out there is having a great day thanks for hanging out with me and i shall talk to you soon